Kate returned to an old favorite when it came to her outfit today, stepping out in a Catherine Walker coat that she had favored during her pregnancy with Prince Louis. The Duchess of Cambridge arrived at church in Sandringham on Sunday alongside the Duke of Cambridge wearing the dusky blue coat that she was last spotted wearing during a visit to Norway in February last year. The mother of three updated the outfit with a matching headband in the same shade by Jane Taylor, an accessory that Kate has chosen to favor of late. Kate, who turns 37 on Wednesday, gave a glimpse of a polka dot dress that was seen underneath her coat and accessorized with a navy blue clutch and a matching pair of heeled court shoes. Prince William, meanwhile, looked typically dapper in a long wool coat shirt and tie as he accompanied his wife to St. Mary Magdalene Church, just a short walk from Sandringham House, on Sunday. This is the first time that the couple has been spotted since the Christmas Day church service where they attended alongside Prince Harry and Meghan, although the couple did not appear present today. Following along behind was the Queen who looked elegant in a tan ensemble in the form of a wool coat with a fur trim and a matching hat. While usually accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh on such occasions it seems that the Queen's husband had remained home today and she was instead accompanied by a female companion. Prince Philip, 97, had also been absent from the Christmas Day service. Mail Online has contacted Buckingham Palace for a comment. However, William, 36, was keen to reassure the crowds that his grandfather was feeling very good despite him missing a fourth consecutive church service. Philip, 97, who is officially retired from royal duties has not been seen in public since he was photographed leaving the Queen's pre-Christmas lunch party at Buckingham Palace on December 19. Buckingham Palace once again refused to comment about Philip's non-attendance at church, although royal sources insisted there were no particular concerns about his health. William who left his children George, Charlotte and Louis at home was walking the 400 yards from Sandringham House to the church when he jokingly pointed at a young boy and his parents, saying, I love the hat. One member of the crowd asked how his grandfather was feeling, prompting him to reply, Very good, thanks. Kate also spoke to onlookers, wishing them a good morning and happy new year. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge traditionally host a shooting weekend for friends on the 20,000-acre Sandringham Estate at the start of the new year to mark Kate's birthday on January 9. As she walked away from church, Kate accepted flowers from Mia Croft, 10, and Brother Oakley, 7, from Letchworth, Hertfordshire, who were with grandparents Brian and Daphne Croft. The Duchess leaned down to collect the blooms, saying, Are these for the Queen? I will take them back for you. She will love these, lots of bright colors. Mr. Croft said, It is a lovely experience for our grandchildren to come here and it is fantastic that the Duchess stopped to speak to them. Charlotte Fisk from Mulberton, Norfolk, who was celebrating her 32nd birthday said, My friend Hannah Catchpole shouted out to William, It's Charlotte's birthday. He said happy birthday but he got confused because he thought Charlotte was my son George who was the first baby born in Norfolk on New Year's Day last year. We had to explain that I was Charlotte which was quite funny. He didn't say anything about us having the same names as his two oldest children. The 52-minute church service conducted by the Sandringham rector the Rev. Jonathan Riviere began with the singing of the national anthem. Prayers were said for the royal family to imbue them with the Holy Spirit and enrich them with heavenly grace and for peace throughout the world, especially in the Middle East. Other prayers were said for those who suffer on the margins of society and people who work in the community including doctors, nurses, carers, social workers, teachers and the emergency services. The Bishop of Liverpool, the right relevant Paul Bayes talked of the birth of his first granddaughter on December 28 and compared the needs of newborn babies with helpless people in society. The Queen walked unaided up and down the porch steps and waved at the crowd as she was driven away. She was also curtsied by Kate and her women friends out of sight of cameras. Last week saw the Queen joined by her son Prince Edward who was accompanied by his wife Sophie Wessex and daughter Lady Louise Windsor. Princess Anne and her husband Timothy Lawrence also attended the service, but today is Kate and William's first return to church following the festive period. 
the Duchess of Cambridge and the Duchess of Sussex were all smiles when they joined the Queen at church in Sandringham for the Christmas Day service. Kate, 36, and Meghan, 37, were greeted by adoring crowds as they made their way to St. Mary Magdalene Church, a short walk from Sandringham House on the royal family's Norfolk estate. Prince William, 36, and Harry, 34, joined their wives as they put on a united front amid rumors of a rift in mounting tensions between the two couples. It was confirmed earlier in December that the Fab Four were going to spend Christmas Day together despite claims of a falling out. Meanwhile Kate's family including her sister Pippa, brother James and mother Carol have been enjoying a sun-soaked getaway in St. Bart's. Her younger brother has been photographer enjoying a new romance with Ollie's eighth evening on holiday where the Middletons were also joined by Pippa's husband James Matthews and his brother Spencer with his wife Vogue. But Kate is believed to have enjoyed a more low-key new year with William and their three children at their home of Enmer Hall in Norfolk. Hundreds of well-wishers turned out to see the royal family when they attended church on Christmas Day, but the Duke of Edinburgh and the Duchess of Cornwall were missing. Philip and Camilla did not join the rest of the royals as they made the short walk. It is understood the Duke is in good health and spent the day relaxing privately with his family. Camilla missed an appearance at the Olympia Horse Show the week before due to a heavy cold and was believed to be still recovering from the bug. Behind the lead group strode Peter Phillips holding the hands of his daughters Savannah and Isla, and they were followed by Princess Beatrice and Peter's wife Autumn Phillips. A few meters behind were Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank, who smiled at the crowds as they walked towards the church. Towards the back of the group were the Earl and Countess of Wessex with their children, Lady Louise Windsor and Viscount Severn, the Princess Royal and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence and Zara and Mike Tindall. The Queen arrived in her state limousine with the Duke of York. During the service the congregation sang traditional carols O Little Town of Bethlehem, Hark! The Herald Angels sing and O Come All Ye Faithful! 